Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna take a look on our landscapes in Unreal Engine 5. We're gonna start with creating new empty level and we're gonna go up and click on this landscape icon. And if you are a beginner, I would really recommend you to read a landscape technical guide on Unreal Engine site. But basically you can change the selection size or just number of quads and you can change the resolution. I wouldn't recommend you to touch on the scale until you're using hate map. Also, you can add hate map up here. I'm gonna leave everything on default and click on create. Now you can see that we have here sculpting brushes. With them you can sculpt on the landscape. Below that you have brush type and fall off. And down here you can change the strength and size of the brush. Now I'm going to add a light to the scene since there is no any. I am basically adding directional light, skylight and sky atmosphere. I set the directional light and skylight to movable. And I set the intensity of directional light to 1. In directional light, I also enable atmosphere sunlight. In skylight, I have checked real time capture and set the intensity to 2. Now I'm just adding exponential height fog and post process to control the exposure. Ok, so now we can start making the material for the landscape. So we're gonna make a new material. Right click on it and create a material instance. Select the landscape and drag the material instance to the landscape material slot. Now we can open the material and I'm going to add a color to the base color. You can see that the landscape is all shiny and I don't want that so I'm gonna set the specular to zero. Now we want to make an auto slope material so we're gonna need to add more textures. I have added mine and I'm gonna drag them to the landscape material. So I have here textures for the rock and dirt. I'm not adding textures for the grass because the pure color works really well with my grass. But you can absolutely add in textures for the grass if you want to. So to make a slope, we're gonna blend the grass with the rock and as an alpha we're gonna use slope function. To take these four textures to like one group, we will gonna use make material attributes. And we're gonna plug all of the textures into it. Now we're gonna make the slope function. So we're gonna take the vertex normal world space node and mask the Z value, which in this mask is blue color. So to explain you what vertex normal world space is, uh, this node is just taking the normals from the vertexes, from the world space, and if I mask the Z value, and the Z value is going to be the blue color, and if we mask this, we're gonna get just the top as 1 and bottom as 0, and that way we can make the slope. And we're gonna add and subtract so we can control the amount of blend. With this we're gonna add in constant and convert it to parameter. And at the end we're gonna add in cheap contrast to just add in contrast. Now we can blend this together and we would usually use lerp node but we can't use material attributes and lerp together so we're gonna use blend material attributes node instead.
and we also can't plug just pure color to the blend so we'll just use make material attributes for it too We can just add this to the base color because we are using material attributes. So we'll add and break material attributes node and plug all of the textures that we are using to the landscape material. We will now open material instance and play with the blend and contrast. And as you can see, we're gonna need to invert the textures. So go back to the material and just invert the textures. I'm going for a stylized landscape, so I want bigger detail. So I'm gonna add a texture coordinate node and I will just scale the rock textures. You can see now that we have here this really smooth blend between grass and rock. So what we can actually do is to use normals from the rock to blend between these two textures. So we will gonna plug the normal instead of vertex normal, but before that we're gonna need to transform the normal from tangent space to world space. And to fully understand why we need to do that, I really recommend you to watch this video from Ben Clovers. Okay, so now you can see that the landscape is blending nicely with the normals and we can play with the parameters to get something we like. Now I'm going to duplicate the slope function to add another layer for the dirt. And I'm gonna need to change the order in which the textures are blended. And if I change the color of the rock, you can really see where the dirt is. Okay, now we're gonna add an ability to paint on the landscape. So in the landscape material, we will gonna add a landscape layer blend. We're gonna add a new layer for auto material and for dirt. Now we're just gonna plug the dirt to its layer. We should have here the layers, but because this is a bug I guess, we're gonna need to restart the Unreal Engine. And now we're gonna have the layers here, so we will just click on this plus icon and select Weight Blended Layer. We're gonna click on Save and do the same with the dirt layer. And now we can select the dirt and paint with it. And to fix this blurry gradient between the grass, we can use an perlin noise as an height. So open the layer blend and change the layer that you want to use this height for to height blend. Now just plug the perlin noise to the height slot. To control the size of this perlin noise, we're gonna take an absolute world position and divide it with a constant. And because UVs are just X and Y, we're gonna need to mask the world position to RNG.
Ok, so this is it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful and if you like it, don't be afraid to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.